What's good, crime family? I hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope the video bring a little light to your day. This is the Odd Ones Out, and this is the comment section. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. First, 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 first. Who else is watching this in current year? I'm first. No, I'm first. Everyone needs to know I was the first person to leave a comment on this YouTube video. Thanks. Please, I, I don't have a lot <laughs> going my on right now. Like Fellas, I'm just gonna go ahead and say what we're all thinking here. This video is a forgery and also a homosexual. Hey, why are we spending our finite time spreading negativity and arguing with strangers whose minds will never change? Are we really that bitter we have to bring others down? These exactly. comments are pointless because everyone knows I'm first. Comment sections <laughs> in some form or another have been around since the internet's conception, and I don't see them ever going away. So in like 200 years- Like even on this video right here, you're gonna see somebody who posts first. Historians <laughs> are going to be studying ancient comments to see what life was like back then. Right underneath this video and any other video ever posted is an open forum for anyone who watched the video to leave their semi-unfiltered anonymous opinions. That's facts. And nothing bad has ever come from it. <laughs> Wait, are you scrolling down to read the comments while the video is playing? You, you haven't even finished the video and you're reading the comments? I'm sorry, did I bore you? I'm Are dying. you bored? <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Don't mind me. It's not like we were in the middle of a one-sided conversation or anything. First. Also, if you see any spam bots, can you report them for me? Exactly. They're, I hate those. They're a real problem. Like Same. most people, I will watch a video and then not add anything to the conversation and go about my day watching more videos. And I know the vast majority of you do this too because let's math something out. If we look at my last video and take the total amount of comments and divide <laughs> why he dislike his own video it by views, we only get 0.4% of people who watch the video leave a comment. That's not a whole lot. Exactly. Oh, I know. True. What if we look at a YouTuber I apology video? I'm sure there's a bunch of people leaving comments, you know, letting people know their thoughts and having a civil discussion. Huh. Only 0.3% of people who watch the video left a comment. Every video I did wild, the math though. on only ever had a 0.5% view to comment ratio. So if only 0.5% of people are leaving comments, why am I talking about them? Because while most of us aren't comment leavers, I know the majority of us are comment readers. This video and the comment section are digital neighbors. You literally don't have to travel far to read comments. They're, they're right there. Sorry if you're watching this on a TV, by the way. They're, they are there, trust me. And I can prove- I think that's another thing. A lot of people watch YouTube on TV now and they are on your phone and most of the time when you're on your phone, you ain't trying Most to come people in. are comment readers because a lot of times a single comment will get more thumbs up than there are total comments on a video, which of course they do because who's gonna take the time to write out a whole comment when they could just thumbs up the ones they agree with? Exactly. The relationship between YouTuber and comment section is a little complicated. For one, it's the only time I get to kind of have a conversation with 0.4% of you. If you feel so inclined, you can type out a response to this video, give me feedback, tell a joke, or post a timestamp of a part you liked. And there's a 99% chance I'll never see that. But if I do, well, at least and I real. like what you said enough, I can give your comment a little heart badge. Yeah. I perceive this guy. Although <laughs> there are some challenges with comment sections that are not exclusively YouTuber problems. Even in the early days of the internet. Now I will say like, my thing about comments, like I'll try to read them, but I can only read so many because like, if you're, you're a content creator, you know all about like what comments can do to your 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 mindset, to your, your mental. Like it can literally like take you from having a good day to a bad day if you see a bad comment. And, you know, like the mind is going to want to focus on that bad comment. You can have 100 people saying I love you and love you. And that one comment that says I, I hate you. You're gonna focus on that one comment that and it bring it turns it brings down your mood. That's why it's like I have to. I, I try to not read as much, but I, I know I need to read. I need to be reading more. Though. Comment sections have had a reputation of being toxic and argumentative. I will say I have noticed that comment sections are 
not as toxic as they were in the 2010s. Maybe websites have just gotten better at moderating, but I've noticed an overall decrease in the amount of slurs and KYSs compared to when I was 13, so so good job, comment section. You, yeah, you're growing I, up. I, I, I think really there are those. three reasons why comment sections can be very toxic. Number one, people are more likely to speak out when they disagree with something rather than agree with it. If That's you facts. come across the comment, That's facts. I like cats, you're not going to go out of your way to comment, I agree with your opinion, cats are lovely. No. You might give the comment a I thumbs up, dogs. but otherwise you're just <laughs> going to keep better. <laughs> But if you're someone who only likes dogs and exactly. you have too much free time, now you're getting all worked up seeing a different opinion than yours, so you're going to comment, this is really insensitive to dogs. You know, my dog could be a your cat. <laughs> this is so, so every comment section will eventually devolve into a cesspool full of people who disagree with each other. But the toxicity is only magnified because of reason number two, people are anonymous. When you don't have to face real world repercussions exactly. for all the reprehensible sh you say, there's yeah, no say limit anything. to the things you won't spout out. Although, there is something to be said about never being truly anonymous online. Maybe in the pre-Facebook era you could get away with saying some messed up stuff, but now if you upset the wrong person, they'll post your IP address. So, for example, this <laughs> nah, guy commented, nah. and now yeah. I'm outside his mother's home. First, they, they and what really makes it wilding. worse is you don't like know- Like the internet is very scary now, like you have to- Watch what she say, because these folks are crazy, man. Both the comment you're reading is from an adult or a 13-year-old. And That's yes, true. that matters, because 13-year-olds aren't people. And the third Wait. reason why comment sections are so toxic... <sighs> sometimes, people just want to make you angry. You know, they, they rustle your jimmies. They, yep. they do a little Facts. trolling. Facts. I'm not saying all negative comments are trolls. You can have your genuine criticisms... But we've all seen comments that are just trying to stir the pot, yep. you know? It doesn't matter how thought out or correct your response to a troll comment is. As soon as you respond, you've Bro. stooped down to their level and lost. And Why you get a cartoon animation of BBL? And the number four reason that I just thought of is because I think people can forget that behind these comments and profile pictures is a real person with emotions. Ian Hecox from Smosh made an analogy I really liked that reading negative comments is like boxing. When you read a negative comment, it's like getting punched in the face. But with training, you can build your stamina to learn techniques and blocks to reduce the damage a punch would do to you. But at the end of the day, you're still boxing. Exactly. And there's only so many punches exactly. to the face you can take. And that's what I meant by why I try to take only take in so many comments because it's just like you you can't like if you if you come I, I do anything where people can come in on what you do you'll see that like it, it can be bad for you before you have to tap out even I can though, read even if you want to hundred positive comments and one negative one what I just said and it's the negative comment that'll you. stick in my brain exactly I would be lying if I said I never got hurt by a comment I and to. I know I'm not the only one who feels nope. this way because there's a word for it. In psychology, there's things called cognitive distortions, which are times when our brain thinks in unhealthy ways, like catastrophizing, overgeneralization, or depersonalization. And one of these distortions is called selective abstraction, which is when we focus on one detail taken out of context and ignore all the other, more important details. Yeah. And it's not exclusive to reading comments, either. It's the same thing when you're hanging out with friends and you make one awkward joke and you focus on that for the rest of the night and That's ignore true. all the other mm -hmm. good interactions you had. Okay. So how do we stop this flawed way of thinking? I, I'm asking you. I, I don't question, know. Leave actually. a comment. I don't know. Sometimes we're able That's to laugh question. off mean comments, but I think everyone has at least one comment that got to them. Yep. For me, it's always the comments about things I'm insecure about or the comments saying things about me that are objectively wrong. And it's like if you let people in, like if you if you if you make content or do anything where people like become fans of if you let people in too much they can kind of use that against you like you can like if you tell them too much like if you got problems going on or something like that you think these people are your friend and, and don't get me wrong a lot of them do support you and you know are really there for you but some of these people will take that and use that against you and and, and flip it on you and, and try to use that to hurt you like 
Alright, mentally. Unfortunately, the only solution to deal with toxic comments is to just ignore them. Don't even let yeah, them take up way. space in your brain. If you're going to put yourself on the internet, expect to see the good and, and the, the bad. very, very, <laughs> very, bad. very bad. You're not going to please everyone, exactly. and you don't need everyone's approval. So thank you, 0.5% of people who leave positive comments on internet videos. Facts. Us lurkers Salute. might not get Salute. involved in the conversation, but we sure do love watching the conversation happen from the sidelines. <laughs> uh, exactly. And now that you've watched this YouTube video, let's go see what other people who've watched this YouTube video are talking about. Now, I ain't gonna hold you on TikTok. I don't read those comments at all. <laughs> I don't read them because, bro, it's no, 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 no. <laughs> Who's this Bob guy? I'm done, man. G'day, everyone. Yo. It's me, James. Thank you so much for watching a video about the comment section. I'm really looking forward to reading the comments on this video. Have any of you ever left a comment on a YouTube video? Let me know in the comment box down below. Also, I'm excited to announce that the graphic novel for Oddballs has been released. You can get yourself a copy at Target. You know what? They should make something like where you can like only see the good comments. I don't know how they can do that, but they can like maybe a computerized option where you can just click and it just be like, show me only the good comments. But then I don't know. Maybe that can also be a bad thing because you want constructive criticism. Like you don't want everything to be perfect, you know, because you want people to give you feedback on, on your video. Maybe you can switch something up, maybe you can switch that out. And like you won't want to filter that out either. So I don't I don't know how that could work. But maybe it's a way where like I don't know. Like it can read like it and know that it's a bad comment. Like it just it has no constructive criticism and it's just like Somebody calling your video trash, you know, like that's not giving me anything to work on, okay. you know, Walmart or know. my website. Once again, I have to give a big thanks to my amazing team who did such an incredible job, especially David Toons. He's just like super, super talented. And with that, all I have to say is wear your seatbelts, mates. Facts. Hope you enjoyed my reaction video, original video link in the description and we out deuces.